Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. Today we are starting Old Man's Journey. Uh, now this is a cute little game. Um, I, I think this will probably take like three episodes. Uh, if you don't want to spoil the story, then um, I don't know, just play it yourself. Uh, you can get this most places. Obviously I'm playing on a computer, that's the easiest, but um, sorry, actually the easiest would probably be playing on a tablet or phone. I am so sorry. Just had a carbonated beverage and now, now I'm burping. Ugh. Um, but yeah, uh, you can play this on mobile. Um, that's what I played it on first, but I had it on my computer, so I'm like, screw it. I'll play this. Also because I wanted to play another game and uh, it wasn't quite working right. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess now we're playing Old Man's Journey because it's just something different. And I hope it works this time because last time the game froze and I had to actually restart my computer. So, um, Let's not do that again. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, so what's this game about? Um, this is, I guess, I guess you call it a puzzle game. It's like a puzzle game, but a bit more of a, I guess it's kind of a walking sim as well. Like, it's, it's nothing like super crazy, obviously. Um, so the main thing with it is that you can move the world to shape paths for you to walk across. And some of them you need to uh, adjust so that you can go places. Now, right now, this is the first thing. You're just still learning that, so it's not a big deal. Um, but then later on, you actually have to use it to like build bridges and stuff like that. Because you can only change horizons if they're connected like point to point. So it's a cute little concept. Um, also, I just love the interactivity of this. It, it does feel like a... Uh, um, you know, more like a, uh, a mobile type game because you have this little interactions of the things that you'd expect to use your finger to, to maneuver. Um, it's kind of interesting how some games are, uh, you know, portrayed this way. Like how you can transfer a mobile game to a console or a console game to mobile, but just the, you know, I'm sure this is something that like extra credits has probably talked about. Uh, this seems like a piece of story. I wonder what this could be about. Um, yeah, um, and you can maybe assume, like, oh, it's maybe this handsome fellow here. He's got that face, kind of. He's got that nose. It's that nose that gives it away. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure Extra Credits has talked about the differences of, like, what kind of a difference a mobile game or a uh, or, or a console game or even a, a PC game makes in in terms of like the controls like to play like a big PC game that requires like tons of complicated controls you probably want to use a keyboard because you have more options as opposed to consoles where you may not um, you may not have all those that input available so it's it's a little more complicated to control things um, go up there and yeah, let's see what's up here. This sounds like fun. A sleepy kitty. That seems like the best thing there can be. Bother the birds. Yep, that's fine. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting to think that, like, different games are built differently based on these kind of things. And, like, and sometimes it's a transfer that works. Um, like, for this, it's just, I, I guess, like, games like this make the most sense for having a mobile version. Like, because games that are... Um, what's it called? Like point and click adventures. Like, it makes sense if your main control is it, if it is purely point and click, as in you're not using the. Um, but if if you're not using like the controls in a way that requires like uh, buttons, then yeah, point and click would be totally appropriate. Um, wish they would transfer the Homestar Runner games onto uh, mobile. Then I could just have Homestar Runner quotes to enjoy whenever I want to. <laughs> um, although that will be something I want to do. Um, I may have to uh, plan ahead for that later because now that I have my uh, I have my capture card and all that, I have just now bought a new TV so I can actually record with it, which will be nice. But of course, I offered up my Nintendo Wii to my mother-in-law because uh, to give her something to do while she's stuck inside. Um, she has a medical condition that I won't go into further detail with, but uh, oh, hello. So this is cool that uh, you can't move the, um, you, you can only move things um, 
if you're not standing on them. So like right now, he is standing on this red part, so you can move the blue part now. And I'm assuming we're going up to see the cat. Because that just makes sense. Because this cat is being ridiculous. He just jumped off the roof. Oh, that's quite an effect there. This is a... It's a cute game. Um, just being able to see these different perspectives of things and, and changing them. Oh, that's cool. I'm, like, blocking it. <laughs> um, but uh, just getting to interact with this interesting world and people and kind of see his story told through memories. Um, head on up. Let's say hello to this fella. Oh, we interrupted his play, I guess. Whoop. Whoop. Traveling man, I guess. What are you doing, sir? Did what did he just do? Oh, smell. <laughs> For a second, I thought he like scratched his belly and smelled it. I didn't realize he was smell smoking. I have no idea where this is set in. My guess, France. But only because I imagine curvy curvy writing uh, is a France thing. How do I activate the next part? Oh, oh there it is. We're going on an adventure. Take the dog with you. Now it's Kentucky Route Zero. <laughs> Aw. Uh, I wish I could get a nice full beard like that. I've got a decent beard, I will say. I've been uh, pretty happy with my growth lately. <laughs> I've got a decent beard. Uh, I want one of those. I want one of these. If I, if I ever make a Patreon, I'm just going to say, listen, I have all the recording equipment I want. Patreon is purely to pay for my old, my old, uh, um, uh, um, van. Whatever, whatever this is called. Uh, can't even think of it. The old, Oldsmobile? No, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. The old Volkswagen van. Isn't, I think that's it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. But that's, that's what I want. Absolutely want that. Let me stay in the hotel. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a goal one day. Don't care much about cars. I would learn how to take care of a car if I got one of those things. Man, I, I just love them. I don't know why, they're just so cool to me. All right, this is a cool one. So now we're getting into a little more puzzle solving with it, where it's like, you have to cross over this, use it as a bridge, and then scoot it back down and use it as a second bridge. It's very clever. Perfection. Might as well just do that, because we know we're going to need to. <laughs> Such a cute little character design. I love how this this feels like something... I'm curious, like, this feels like something where someone wrote, like, a children's book. And then it didn't quite sell the way they wanted it to. And so they just took all the character designs and made a game out of it. <laughs> In my head, that's just how it worked. Look at these old fellas. What you doing there, old fellas? What am, I, what am I doing here? All right, there we go. Do I need to get down to the waterfall? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, maybe I can move this up. Aha, there we go. Perfect. It's just easier to do it all in one in my head. Because otherwise, once he starts moving, he's blocking off areas that can't be moved anymore. So it's just easier to just do it all at once, if possible. I think some of them will be more complicated later. Oh, yes, the waterfall one. This is something else. All right. We can stop the... Uh, I'm going to do that. Can I move the rock? I'm going to do this. Now I can't remember. Okay, so... You just walk into the waterfall? Oh. Okay. Sure, we just walk into the waterfall. That's fine. I can't move things. So I need to fall down things? Yeah, I guess it's just falling down. This, this man should really be more careful with his own well-being. Hope this is where you want to go. <laughs> Maybe not over there. Maybe over this direction. Oops. <laughs> Yep, there we go. I'm gonna turn this down for myself just a little bit, because I'm probably talking louder than I want to be. Um, okay, cross over here. I don't think I want to fall down. I think I want to go over here. Maybe. Maybe 
maybe not. Well, if that's the case, then maybe I just want to fall off the edge. Or... Oh, I see. I needed to cross over to the other side to fall down the other waterfall. Gotcha. I am smart. I know what I'm doing. I played this game before. I mean, I played this, like, this was a year ago. This is when I was kind of making my goal of, like, any iPhone games I had was, like, I wanted to play them. Because, you know, you end up downloading a bunch of free iPhone games or cheap iPhone games, and then, and then you play the same time waster games that you always do. Uh, I kind of gave up on playing games on, uh, on, on mobile as an actual thing. Like, uh, at least not on my phone. If I had, like, if I had, like, a tablet or something, maybe. But, um, but I just don't see myself doing that in, uh, oh, something's, something's wrong. Fix it. Take the sandwich. How do I fix this? Oh, we got it. Good. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just doesn't, like, like, when I have my phone, I feel like I go for the main entertainment of watching videos. Especially now that I've de downloaded the dangerous TikTok. <laughs> because it's so easy to just fall into that hole. Oh, look at that. He's made some distance. I'd love to take a walk like this. Oh, wow. Whoa. No, oh, she doesn't... She doesn't look too happy about that. Why don't she look too happy about that? I can't see her face, but it looks like a, a frown. That doesn't seem good. I can't tell. I don't know. Um, but, I don't know. It, that's, that's, just, that's just my take on mobile gaming, unfortunately. Like, I know that there are plenty of mobile games that are good and that are worth playing, um, but I just can't, I don't know. I, I can't get into it without a controller or a mouse and keyboard. Like, not having that kind of control just doesn't feel, just doesn't feel appropriate to me for, for gameplay. It's just not my go-to. Um, okay, where have we got here? So we've got some, we've got some terrain here. So we probably want to adjust those. Can I make that work? Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay, I see. And then we probably want to move, and that doesn't move up. So then, what else can we move? Can we get up there? Oh, we can. We can get up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, he's gonna fall. Oh, well. That was my bad. Didn't even think about that. Of course he's gonna keep walking. That's not gonna do anything. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, can this move up significantly? Not down significantly. Okay, perfect. That works. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, it's these frogs. Oh, make them sing. Sing, my froggy friends. <laughs> Alright, so we'll move that, and then we'll do a bit of this. A little bit up, a little bit down. Perfection. Good thing you can climb the steep hills. <sighs> I feel like this is a little bit easier on a, on a non-mobile device, because I can actually pay attention to what I'm doing. This, that'll drop me down where I need to go. Yes. Because that's the only one that'll drop me correctly. There we go. <laughs> ah, physics. You are in my control now. Um, gonna see. Oh, well, that's interesting. in the boat. Quit playing with your dinghy. <laughs> uh, Tommy boy. Does anyone, does anyone still watch Chris Farley movies like consistently? Like I feel like my generation grew up on it because it was like, you know, 
comedy in the 90s. Like, you couldn't have comedy in the 90s without Chris Farley. I mean, you could. You still had Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey and all those other ones, but still, like, Chris Farley was something special. And, uh, you know, that it's weird to think that, like, you know, he's been gone for so long now that they're, like, unless people's parents introduce them to these movies, like, they're not gonna know it. They're not gonna know about... Chris Farley or any of the great stuff that he made, which is a shame. There we go. We activated it. I activated your trap card. Maybe. But turn on the light. Oh, ring the bell. There we go. We have to find the thing that sets off his memories, which makes sense as a gameplay mechanic. Oh boy. Wedding bells. Maybe she wasn't so mad. <laughs> I can't tell if she's just sitting funny or if she's pregnant, but either way, congratulations. <laughs> Aw, happy memories. Well, best be hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> hmm. How long are we going to make these? Keep walking. Marcy, what are you doing? Caught my cat eating pizza today. <laughs> she had she had stolen the pieces of crust off of my wife's desk and was munching on it so that was a that was fun to catch my cat and correct her today okay oh i didn't want to do that uh where are we yeah okay so since this is the fifth out of out of 15, we'll make this three episodes. So this will be the last of, of this episode. So these are, these are relatively shorter, and that's perfectly fine. Because, I mean, it's a simple game, and uh, this will give you a good taste of, you know, these are the kind of puzzles that it features. So if you're interested in playing this yourself, then go ahead. Oh, we got a train coming. This is very quaint. I gotta say, I... Like, seeing things like this, like, this must be set somewhere in Europe, but I just can't even imagine seeing a, a location like this in, in America. Like, maybe out west it looks more like this, but man, like, here in the east it just feels so flat all the time. Like, the only places that aren't flat are, like, just, it's just roads carved into, into stone. Like, they weren't, the worlds weren't built this way. Who designed this railroad? <laughs> Seems ineffective to me. God, this is cute. Just makes me think of like a toy train set. Oh, can, oh, great. So we can move these even while things are moving. Good, good to know. Can I move? Nope, not while the train is on. Good to know. Watch out for cars. I just realized the train only has three cars on it, which I kind of love. It's, again, super cute. It's just this the, the engine, one passenger car, and one cargo car. That's absolutely adorable. I loved trains. I should play more train games. The only ones I've played on here has been uh, the, the uh, what was it, so Soko Loco, the, the train game from Sock Pop, which was a fantastic one. And I think train games deserve a little more credit, because clearly they're just adorable. And this is just super cute. Trains are awesome. Like, trains are such an underrated thing. Like, no wonder kids appreciate trains. Kids appreciate things so much more than adults do later on. Like, kids look at trains and are just so excited and pumped up to see trains and to be at train stations and to see that. And, like... When you're an adult, you just don't have that appreciation for it. It's just, it's old, it's useless. You're not gonna use a train, and people forget about that, but it's like, there are still passenger trains that take people everywhere, including in the US. Like, and not just like your standard subways. Like, there are trains you can take across the US, which is pretty awesome. I've actually looked into it. They are more expensive than I thought they would be. Um, maybe one day, but uh, it's just a neat way to travel. Like, it's a little, I think it's like a little faster than a bus. Not as fast as a plane, obviously, but you get to, to see a lot more. So I think it's a cool idea to, to still have trains as, a, as an option for things. I almost missed it there. Oh, jeez. 
I hope that was the right one. <laughs> so far, it appears to be. <laughs> I don't know. Can you take different ways? Is there a branching path in this game? I didn't even know. <laughs> I wonder how long this goes for. I guess so. Looks like it connects back. <laughs> perspective. Very nice, very nice. How long does this go? This feels longer than the other ones, but it may just be because we actually have to focus on it. I don't want to stop the train. I'm enjoying my good my good streak so far. Also, stopping a train is, like, so difficult. Like, people wonder, like, people don't realize how powerful a train is. Like, they have to stop. To stop a train, they have to, like, turn it off, like, like half a mile away from where they are like even if it's moving super slow because it's just it, it, it it's just un, it's it's unreasonably powerful people don't realize that bear throw the bear what did I say <laughs> just fell asleep throw the plane at him <laughs> oh, more memories I love that mustache. <laughs> that guy rocked him. This, this guy just has great facial hair just in general. <laughs> Mustaches, excellent beards. This dude's a winner. That girl got lucky. Find such a handsome gentleman. <sighs> okay, cool. I think this is, uh... I'm assuming this is... I can't tell if this is, like, the next section or not. But, uh, we'll just say it is. I think, and uh, I don't know. We'll yeah, we'll just say it is. I think. No, stop doing that. Hang on. Is it okay? Good. So that'll be it for this episode. So um, come back next week. We'll do a little more of this. These are just shorter, simpler episodes because I just wanted something short and simple. So um, so that is it for today's old man's journey and come back for some more old man journey next week and until then you can check out my other stuff and uh all my other videos of sock pop and whatever else i'm playing at the time so thank you all for watching i will see you guys next time bye